been there for a while now and uh, mostly been, been part of a, a good winning streak for the team. But you had your first loss for a while. So how has the team backed up from that and responded this week? Um, yeah, being in a few hubs in my career in the last two years, it's a lot easier. It's a lot more fun to be around the boys when we're winning. And I think we went um, five and one there for a while there. So it was uh, it was good vibes around the um, around the hotel. And but everyone's got their families here now as well. So um, the boys have had a bit of a lift from that, having their families and, and kids and wives and girlfriends um, all in town. So obviously. It was a pretty big week on the track this week, trying to rectify a few things we didn't get right, but um, everyone's been buoyed by having their families in town. Yeah, and for yourself, first thing I know that yeah, your family fans joined you uh, a week or so ago. Um, so what does that mean for you to, to have them back with you and uh, yeah. able to focus on the footy rather than wondering what they're up to? Yeah, everything. So my, I've got a two-year-old, almost a two-year-old boy, and my wife's pregnant with twins. So um, it was a pretty rough, seven weeks there for, for her to, we don't have a whole lot of support. The club was incredible in um, how they supported Chloe and Lou, but to have them here is just a big weight off my shoulders. And well, it was almost as soon as they got into that quarantine hub, we kind of knew they were, they were coming and the uncertainty was over. So um, it's been awesome. I've, we've slotted right back into a routine and Lou didn't forget me, so I was pumped. Yeah, what do you think you've done particularly well this year at the Swans that you might not have done the best last week against St Kilda? Um, I've probably felt like throughout the year my follow-up work um, and sort of just my competing around the contest and, and bringing energy around the contest has been has been reasonable and I probably let myself down on the weekend um, in, in that regards and, and Ron Marshall that's sort of what he brings as well and, and he's a really quality quality opposition and, and probably Sammy Drake would probably be me around that, that area as well so I've had a big focus to sort of just trying to bring a little bit more energy around the ball again and then stay on my toes. You mentioned uh, a bit earlier the, the family situation that obviously must have been incredibly um, difficult. I was just wondering, was there a moment where you considered heading back? Was the plan always for them to, to come to you and it was just sort of ideally a little bit earlier than it happened? Um, no, the, it got pretty tough there for a while. Um, I think I wouldn't have been the only person in, in that situation and, and it got we had some serious discussions about me potentially going home and, and then coming back through the hub, um, through the quarantine hub, just because... We sort of went probably two weeks there without getting any real clarity on, on where it was heading and I think the uncertainty is what was the hardest bit. Um, but my wife, Chloe, was an absolute trooper and um, was so incredible through it all and I'm um, so grateful to have them in my life. So they uh, they told me to stay and, and we soldiered through and now we're pumped. And um, you are John, John, you know, sorry, John's always been, you know, quite big on, on family first and whatnot. Was that sort of... Like in, in terms of those chats, was he a big one in that? Yeah, he was huge. He, um, I felt like I had the club's absolute support in whatever decision I made. And I know the same was for Joey and Buddy and George and, and all the staff as well that have children and, and families back home. So um, John was incredible. We had a few chats and I had a few chats with Charlie and Tom through it. And they were, um, just the club was, as a whole, just incredible in, in supporting us and making us feel like whatever decision we made was the right one. Has the uh, camaraderie and the good culture around the Swans like been invaluable, especially during that uh, period of uncertainty when we you were deciding whether to go home or not? Yeah, the, this it's it has been fun um, being around this group. It's a really energetic group, and um, we had nights where we played heaps of games of chess, and Monopoly Deal gets played, and Catan gets played, and there's pool and ping pong, and and it's been a, a really um, uniting experience for the group and I've, I've loved getting to know a lot of the boys a lot more especially the younger ones and and also just sort of doubling down on some relationships that have formed in the first 12 months of this footy club and I couldn't be more happy and, and grateful to be a part of this team. Yeah Tom, uh, just want to just to follow up on Rob's uh, while questioning about um, thinking about heading um, well, leaving the hub, how much of the uh, how much, I suppose, was the, the, the football side um, factor into your decision making and the, uh, you, you know, your importance to the team and, and uh, I suppose at, at that time the team was sort of, you know, not cemented in the eight. How much did that also come into your, in your thinking? No, oh, everything comes in, everything comes into your decision making and, and we're here to play footy and we're here to win and um, we're here to play finals footy as well and I 
didn't take any decision lightly and, and I stayed and, and um, I had my wife's full support in staying and obviously I did, we didn't want to leave. Um, you want to stay and play as much food as you can but sometimes things are, are bigger than, than that and um, though we just had some discussions about it, nothing, nothing overly, nothing sort of came to fruition but um, yeah, obviously I wanted to stay and, and play footy and was lucky that we, we could do that. Have you noticed any shift in the, in, in the mood of the, the team or spirit around the camp in the last week since everyone's sort of come back together? Um, there's definitely been a dynamic shift um, with the families and, and partners coming, but I think it's been good. It's been uh, been quite refreshing. I've, I've had my hands full chasing a two-year-old who wants to scoot everywhere and swim everywhere and is obsessed with footy. So um, it's, been, it's been really fun for me, and, and I think a lot of the guys have really enjoyed being reconnected with their, um, their partners but we do pass each other in the corridor sometimes and remember how much time we spent with each, spent with each other and got to get a couple of games of cards in every now and then. Do you think um, sometimes there are a broader kind of, um, I suppose, realisation about the sacrifices that you and the Giants have made? I mean, every club's been disrupted, every club's had bits and pieces they've had to deal with, but you know, you two in particular you know, had a much harder season than, um, than others in terms of time away from loved ones and whatnot. Um, yeah, I think so. I think um, I've played for enough clubs and know enough people at footy clubs to, to that within the industry um, that everyone understands sort of the sacrifices we've made. But that it's no different to the Melbourne teams last year and all the teams last year. And um, got everyone's had to spend their time on the road, and ours has just been a little bit longer. But um, we've been we've been enjoying it. We've been up for the challenge, and that's the beauty of this group. They're, we're quite resilient and quite. Um, not a whole lot of faces us, we're just business as usual and whether we're on the Gold Coast or in Melbourne or in Brisbane or in Sydney or if we end up in Perth or wherever we go, we're, we know that we're all in it together and we're just enjoying each other's company and love playing footy. Are you, uh, ready, for the, are you ready for the challenge that uh, North Melbourne and uh, Todd Goldstein will provide on Saturday night? Yeah, they're, um, they've put together a really solid back half of the year and, and they're a really exciting um, young list with, with heaps of energy, especially in their midfield um, with Uniac and, um, and Anderson and, and, and the likes. They've, they've just been, uh, been really impressive in the centre bounce especially, so we know we need to be at our best to, um, to match their pressure and, and match the way they, they play footy. Tom, with, um, I guess, uh, thinking about all, all travelling around the country and your family being apart from you for, for quite a while, um, You've been had a lot of success on the field during that time, as, as personally and as a team. Now that everything's a bit more settled down, have you had a chance to reflect on how your season's gone? And I mean, you, you've joined your fourth club, and uh, they, they finished sixteenth last year, and now you've had a great year personally, and you're about to play finals. Do you kind of have to pinch yourself a little bit about how how uh, well things have been? Oh, a little bit. Um, I'm more just excited to as an opportunity to play finals again. This is my 11th year and I've played two games in finals. So we've still got two games to go to, to try and see how high we can finish up the ladder and, and burst, the, burst some teams and, and really fine tune ourselves and, and have some really formidable opponents coming up. But um, yeah, you definitely have moments where it's, it's been really fun. Footy's been incredibly fun this year and, and even with all the challenges. So another opportunity to um, keep playing footy and, and just playing a winning side most weeks has been, been so enjoyable. And, um, as my 11th year has definitely been my most favourite. Is there a strong belief around the club of what they could potentially do come finals time? Um, yeah, well, like there's, there, there always has been this whole year. I remember at the start of the year we sat down and um, all out of all the 18 AFL captains, no one picked us to make the finals and we kind of knew that could be a little weapon of ours that we were quite underrated coming into the season and um, it's really galvanised us and united us as a group and and being, being on the road together has done that um, tenfold. We're, we're such a united group and really enjoying it and we're just enjoying playing our footy. Um, and if we can win more games and keep winning and see how far we can go to the finals, it'll make uh, all this travelling worth it. And how are you going personally, Tom? Because um, you've played through your PCL injury from earlier in the year. Um, you selected this week when a couple of other players have been given an opportunity to freshen up um, so are you feeling fit and ready to play out the rest of the season as things stand? Yeah, well, I had that week off uh, after Freo, um, flat up my knee a little bit um, against Big Sean Darcy that first time we played Freo after the bye. So 
I'll coming into the buy, I think. And then since then, it's been not too bad. I um, haven't copped too many serious knocks on it. So it's, it's week by week, but it's feeling pretty good at the moment. And I'll, uh, I'll never put my hand up for a rest while this footy to be played. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll keep trucking on and, and just keep ticking away. And um, John, your coach, uh, talked throughout the year about how it was an injury that would uh, progressively get better. Is that, is that the way that it's played out and um, got to this point where you can be confident to play it, play out the rest of the year? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've probably felt in the last probably four weeks that um, I've been able to sort of jump aggressively again at the ball and not be overly worried about having any more incidents in there. So I, I don't have a PCL, it's, it was fully ruptured, so it was kind of just about time giving my body time to sort of adapt and, and putting some strength around the knee to sort of be able to um, adapt without without the, uh, the ligament there. So um, did a bit of work in the gym and, and still weekly just sort of um, doing some maintenance on it, but it's definitely feeling a lot better and I'm pulling up uh, much better every week. Do you need to fix it at any point or is that something you can go through the rest of your career with, without a, you know, a proper PCL? Uh, we'll probably talk about that at the end of the year. Um, I think there's Sharon, one of our doctors, um, she has dealt a lot with rugby players and a lot of rugby players do it and get through the rest of their careers with it. Um, so it's kind of just, I think it's case by case. If you get more incidents than you, than you don't, then um, you might want to look at cleaning it up, but it's still like a 12 week injury if you have surgery. So it's a big chunk of your off season and pre-season. So uh, at the moment, probably not. I won't won't do it. But we'll sit down at the end of the year and, and um, see what we need to do. And, and just on the, the the club's achievements in the last six weeks with the families away, um, the, the situation in Queensland when you had players pull out at the last minute, um, is is there a sense that um, given you were able to win and, and, and play so well at that time that you can take any any hurdle or any obstacle that's thrown in front of you guys now? Well, yeah, I don't, I don't think I've been a part of a more resilient bunch. Um, I don't know if it's the youth, I don't know if it's a bit of naivety, but the boys are just, they just take everything in their stride and they, they see the positive in every situation. When when Millsy and Colin and Sinks and Harry went, went out, we found out 15, 20 minutes before the bounce. The boys were that excited because Benny Ronk got to have a run and, and James Rowbottom got to come in and Dill Stevens got to come in and, and the boys lifted because of that and, and I feel like it's a real trademark of this group that we look at the positives of situations not the negatives and it's been really great and I've, I've loved being a part of it and it's, it's so um, contagious the enthusiasm for footy and, and the enthusiasm for fun. Yeah, for how far can that sort of spirit um, take you in September? <laughs> I suppose we'll, we'll wait and see, but hopefully pretty far. It's the, uh, the goal is to you play for you to win games and, and win finals. So um, that's that's the plan. We want to go as far into September as we can, but um, we're just enjoying being around each other and playing footy at the moment.